Many archaeology movies tend to be focused on the swashbuckling male hero, while the female characters are relegated to the roles of sidekick or love interest. In some archaeology movies, such as the 1932 version of The Mummy and The Myth, the female lead is characterized as a damsel in distress, which is a common film and television trope. These characters are portrayed as completely helpless, and it is the job of the male hero to save them. This marginalization of women is nothing new or surprising, but it is incredibly common, especially in action and adventure movies. Another common portrayal of women in archaeology films is as a sexual object. We see this in the myth with the character of Samantha. It is obvious that she knows how to fight and defend herself, but by the end of this scene, she has been reduced to nothing more than something pretty to look at, as nearly all of her clothes have come off for no apparent reason. Another female character who is often overly sexualized is Lara Croft. However, she also proves to be an extremely capable fighter and a very intelligent individual. A second trope that is common in television and film is the badass bookworm. This trope can be found in Evelyn's character from the 1999 version of The Mummy. She is highly intelligent and can decipher ancient Egyptian as well as hieroglyphics and heretic. You see the cartouche there? It's the official royal seal of Seti I, I'm sure of it. Perhaps? I've already dated the map. It's almost 3,000 years old. And if you look at the heretic just here, well, it's Hamanaptra. Her extensive knowledge saves her and her team numerous times, but even Evie's character is made into a stereotype when she reads from the Book of the Dead and unwittingly wakes Emotep. Amunde speaks of the night and of the day. The blame is not placed on any of her male counterparts who found the book, but only on her for reading out of it. Granted, this probably wasn't the best idea, but still. Oh, you're not, are you? Tell me you're not archaeologist. Got a problem with archaeologists? I'm a time traveler. I point and laugh at archaeologists. Ah. Professor River Song, archaeologist. Another character who fits the badass bookworm trope is River Song from the TV show Doctor Who. She is a professor of archaeology who kicks ass on the side and is also a companion and love interest to the Doctor. So, what kind of Doctor are you? Archaeology. Love a tomb. Despite being the opposite of a damsel in distress, many fans believe that River Song's character is merely a tool to enhance the plot of the show and to give the Doctor a love interest. You the if you get in trouble. Don't worry, I'm quite the screamer. Now there's a spoiler for you. One of the only female characters from the movies that we have watched that is portrayed as well-adjusted and intelligent is Sharon Goldman from The Body. She is both an archaeologist and a mother, but neither of those are her only defining characteristics. She is ultimately a headstrong woman who stands up for what she believes in, but also admits when she is wrong. This is the kind of character that future archaeology movies should aspire to create. Take that, Vembridge scholars!